Okay, this is just a little one on how you would check to see if there's power to the disconnect. Uh, situation would be you've turned off the breaker in the main panel. You want to check to see if there's any power in this disconnect actually coming into it. So I thought we'd go over this. Okay, when you open a disconnect up, and you pull this piece off, okay, here's all the hot leads and everything inside. Okay, you can see we have terminals down at the bottom, and those are the terminals you're going to connect to whatever load you have. Now, if you look here, you've got something that says line and line. You can't see that very well. I'll try to get a little closer. Okay, that's line and that's line. You notice they're kind of buried. They're not real easy to get to. That's your incoming line. There's two things about the incoming line. One is that they're going to block them off or bury them or something like that. Sometimes there's a little cover over the whole thing. And the other one is, it's on top of the disconnect. Always on top. Every time I've ever seen them, they've been on top of the disconnect. So, this is where you're going to want to put your meter leads. Say, pull your, uh, turn off your breaker. And you want to come out and see if there's power here. If your uh, voltmeter is not automatic, then if it's a manual... Uh, voltage it should be over 240 say if there's a 750 and there's a 200 use the 750 put one probe in each one so be careful when you're doing this you know be sure that your uh, uh, you've got your leads held properly your meter set up properly and you're not touching anything else besides these two so and don't put your fingers in there like I did so uh, if you want to find out if the power is off, that's the way to do it. Don't try to connect it to the top of the fuses or anything like that because they're disconnected. They're not, they're not connected in the circuit when the plug's pulled. You can see, I, I, I used, forgot to say that, but the plug's been pulled off of this thing. When you come out to check it, I would pull the plug and then check those lines. And after that, you know, after you found out there's no power there, you can use an ohm meter on your fuses, just pull your fuses out and check them. And that's pretty much it on uh, checking voltage <coughs> at the equipment disconnect.